Anecdote for Fathers, by Arthur Thomas Quiller Couch designed to show that the practice of lying is not confined to children. By the late W.W. of H.M. Inland Revenue Service. And is it so? Can folly stalk and aim her unrespecting darts in shades where grave professors walk in bachelors of arts? I have a boy, not six years old, a eh? sprite of birth and lineage high. His birth I did myself behold, his cast is in his eye. And oh, his limbs are full of grace, his boyish beauty past compare. His mother's joy to wash his face, and mine to brush his hair. One morn we strolled on our short walk, with four galashes on our shoes, and held the customary talk that parents love to use. And oft I turn it into verse, and write it down upon a page, which, being sold, supplies my purse and ministers to age. So as we paced the curving high, to view the sights of Oxford town we raised our feet, like Nelly Bly. And then we put them down. Now, little Edward, answer. Me, I said, and clutched him by the gown. At Cambridge would you rather be, or here in Oxford town? My boy replied with tiny frown, he'd been a year at Cavendish. I'd rather dwell in Oxford town, if I could have my wish. Now, little Edward, say why so? My little Edward, tell me why? Well, really, pa, I hardly. No, remarkable, said I, for Cambridge has her king's parade, and much the more becoming gown. Why should you slight her so, I said, compared with Oxford town? At this my boy hung down his head, while sterner grew the parent's eye, and six and thirty times I said, Come, Edward, tell me why? For I loved Cambridge, where they deal, how strange, in butter by the yard. And so, with every third appeal, I hit him rather hard. Twelve times I struck, as may be seen, for three times twelve is thirty-six. When in a shop the magazine his tearful sight did fix, he saw it plain, it made him smile, and thus to me he made. Reply. At Oxford there's a crocodile, one. And that's the reason why. Oh, Mr. Editor, my heart for deeper lore would seldom yearn, could I believe the hundredth part of what from you I learn.